Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows Millennium, which was one of the worst Windows versions that was ever released when it came to stability. It became one of the most notorious besides Windows Vista actually. So with Windows Millennium, it was introduced in 2000 at the same time as Windows 2000. Now the thing with Windows Millennium is it's still based on the Windows 9x DOS architecture, but unfortunately with Min Windows Millennium, it is impossible to just access DOS, which is a major setback and why a lot of people end up, ended up staying at Windows 98 or chose Windows 2000 as the more viable system. So as you can see, if we go into my computer, we can go into properties and as you can see, it's called Microsoft Windows Me. Now we have full internet access. We have my documents over here so we can look at music or pictures. So we have some sample pictures here, I guess, and the image preview. Now also, just like Windows 2000, this is how the gradient on the active title bar looks. So it's the exact same. The difference is it's using the Windows default 9X font. It doesn't exactly use Tahoma. But if we go into properties, you go into effects. And if we go into active title bar, we can indeed change it to make it more like Windows 2000. So we'll just leave that here for now. Or we can just change it back. We can change it just back to Windows Standard, like that. So let's go into Internet Explorer. It's not our current Explorer, but what difference does it make? And what do you know, the page cannot be displayed, DNS error. What about Opera? Let's see if that works. Now at the time Windows Millennium was released, the internet was already getting much bigger than it was before. Looks like we got something. Seems like it. Yeah. This is an example of a website from when you run it on Windows Millennium. Interesting. Now the reason why it says WinWorld is because this particular build, this VMware image, I downloaded off the WinWorld website. Which you can get as well if you wanted to. So we got our accessibility, magnifier on-screen keyboard. We can go to programs. We've got some communication tools, which are mainly internet and modem based. Entertainment such as Windows Media Player. So in fact, we already have the XP logo here. So I think this is, was a later Windows Millennium build, I believe. We got our MS-DOS prompt. So it's just called Windows Millennium over there. Page cannot be displayed. We have our notepad, we have paint. We can just scribble something over here. We can go into, we have synchronized, we have Windows Movie Maker. So, not bad. We have the tour. We can say, well, let's just open up a new project and see if it lets us do anything. Or even title, some title for once. Doesn't it let you? Oh, what do I know? Another time, I guess. Now we also have WordPad. Then we've got our regular games like Free Cell, Solitaire, Internet Games, Minesweeper, Spider Solitaire, which is just like in Windows XP. So we're not going to save that. We have our 
Outlook Express, which I believe is the Windows XP version as well. So this is more later. Now, if we go into programs over here, we have a direct tour of Windows Millennium. So this is how it would look. Interestingly enough, you just can't quit it, so we're going to do that now. I will put a ver the full version of the Windows Millennium Tour video on the description, so... Yeah. Now, if we go into the properties, screensaver, we have our flower box screensaver, for example. We have flying objects, so like the classic windows. We have our maze. Which is just can't do much here. We have our pipe, 3D pipes. And we also have 3D text, OpenGL. And then we have some channel screensavers, flying windows. This is a Windows 9X screensaver, so it's been around, I, be I believe, since as early as Windows 95. Inside your computer. Da Vinci. Mystery. Windows. <laughs> That's an interesting screensaver, to be honest. So, I guess that's it. That was Windows Millennium. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.